Hey, this is David with the Shepherd School, and I want to uh, do a quick little review of my new play toy. This is a uh, uh, Wusan radio, and, and I probably mispronounced that, but, but I've heard 7,000 people with 8,000 ways of pronouncing this, and they all think they're correct. But uh, uh, it's a Chinese handheld dual band ham radio, uh, Wuxun, W O U X U N. And uh, basically, it's almost like they stole a Kenwood uh, ham radio, which is about 500 bucks, and then they built it for about 100 bucks. And uh, this is dual band, so it uses uh, mine 2 meter and 70 centimeter, uh, which is the, the most popular ham channels. You can uh, take it out of band where you can actually um, listen to and uh, contact, talk to, even though it's illegal, uh, public safety. So I could actually program this thing to, you know, listen to the county jail or the sheriff's office or whatever. Now, with that, you probably need to know that, number one, that's illegal. And a lot of folks say, you know, the FCC's got this emergency thing that uh, in an emergency, the ham license stuff goes out the window and you can talk to anybody for anything, but uh, I wouldn't try it, <laughs> right? But I do figure if if I'm in such an emergency and I have to talk to THP, Tennessee Highway Patrol, I don't care if they give me a ticket, I'm going to want them to come, right? So uh, uh, that is something that you could do with this. It's a pretty cool little uh, piece of... Uh, piece of equipment. Since it's only about a hundred bucks, it's pretty inexpensive so you can buy you know a couple of them and it won't break the bank. And what I figure I would do is because the little you know once the antenna's off it's pretty small, I would uh, put it in an anti-static wrap uh, you know sack, you know those little pink bubble wrap bags and then put it in a mylar bag fold that up and have kind of an improvised Faraday cage uh, and then I could throw it in the wife's glove box right because she's really not a ham radio person she thinks it's neat to hear somebody talk but uh, doing the whole licensing thing she's not really into but uh, I can put this in her uh, you know pre-program it with the repeaters that are around where she works and uh, throw it in her glove box and if there's an emergency she can get it out and, and I can be listening for her right and at a hundred bucks I could afford to do that um, so uh, uh, pretty handy little radio I'm gonna come in and, and zoom in so you can see some of the stuff on here but basically you just need to play with it uh, I would buy the extra programming cable so you can plug it into a computer to program the, uh, the stations because you can do it with the menu it's not all that hard but uh, with 120 something uh, channels it gets kind of a pain in the butt if you've got that computer program up you can just go to a repeater directory and put your stuff in uh, it's not just a dual band ham radio it's a flashlight pretty good little flashlight and it's a uh, It's a radio. There we go. It's a flashlight. <laughs> We've got to let it uh, uh, turn on a second. It can uh, listen to two channels at the same time, and you can transmit on one at the uh, same time. You can put the stuff in by frequency or by name. Pretty, pretty interesting little radio. So let's get a little close up so I'll show you a little bit about it. Okay. So here's the radio. It's got the uh, volume on and off, and then it's got a, you know, a, a turn knob for the frequencies. You can also use the arrow keys. It's dual band here, and the little arrow tells you which one you transmit on, even though it receives on both. And the uh, delay B does that goes from uh, one to the other. These keys over here are programmable. I've got this one for the flashlight. 
this one goes to the radio FM and I've got my talk radio program into one and a country music in the other and the push to talk programming it like I said it's a lot easier if you just uh, use the little adapter here and uh, you can put a Kenwood style microphone in there but uh, you can do it with the menu too and you can either scroll through but each one of these has a number like that's uh, for channel mode which is the one I do the most do I want to um, do I want to have it by name or by frequency or channel number you know what do I want to keep it on and since I'm not really a ham guru and the whole memorizing of the uh, um, frequencies is not something I do I just keep it on name and with 126 channels it's kind of hard for me to remember so I've kind of got a short uh, like R is for repeater and S is for simplex meaning directly one radio to the other and then like the Mon Eagle repeater a short mountain which does most all middle Tennessee uh, there's a, a Nunley which is near me Hickman County you know different Clarks like if a town like Clarksville's got more than one repeater it's got numbers on there like simplex emergency and there's four of those that are listed on my repeater dictionary uh, so for direct talk in, in emergencies I've got four of those uh, M tiers which is a um, uh, middle Tennessee emergency they do like weather nets and Tima is the agency I work for so the the Tima repeater for M tiers the M tiers repeater for Nashville and uh, you know basically what I did is I put in the stomping grounds that I deal with um, the, the Nashville because that's where I work back to my house where the wife teaches at um, and then the Middle Tennessee repeaters that cover um, we'll go in into East Tennessee, Short Mountain and uh, Mon Eagle because I travel a lot to East Tennessee for business so uh, basically once I get all of them in that I want I can uh, spend about 10 bucks and get a cloning cable and then program another one directly you can also get a, a, an antenna adapter to run um, a regular antenna instead of this little uh, uh, whip you know a bunch of little adapters basically this thing cost hundred and ten bucks but mine cost about hundred and sixty with shipping because I got a um, cigarette ladder adapter I got a double-a battery pack um, I got the uh, uh, programming cable right and it comes with a cool little desk charger so if you want to get into ham but you want to get into ham for emergency stuff rather than um, you know playing around with it and doing it as a hobby this is a great radio um, and for start you know if you want to be a starter and just see if you like it or not you know a hundred bucks you can't beat it you know most other handy talkies are going to be five hundred six hundred bucks and uh, you know it's got a pretty good signal to it a lot of ham radio people that I talk to have this and uh, really recommend it which is why I got it so um, really that's all there is to it and so uh, you know I would recommend you getting this as part of your disaster prep stuff um, it'll also pick up the family radio and the uh, GMRS radio um, handy talkies and so what I was thinking for a community response you know I can uh, you know we can we can pick a, a family radio service frequency and then everybody call in to a ham operator like on a net and then that could then contact the uh, county emergency officials with the ham radio talking about the needs for the uh, the local community so it's a Wuxon handheld and I bought mine from a company called Powerworks and I'll put a link down on the uh, uh, description but uh, that's all there is to it so until next time you can always catch it online at www tngun.com I've got a plan fits my point of view I'm getting ready